guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video, new video, something different. Um, today we have the Chevrolet SS. This is a car that was wrapped in camel and I raced with OBS. I got smoked. <laughs> Obviously the OBS has not been tuned, but come to find out that one of the injector pigtails was broken. So I was only running on seven cylinders, which is still not an excuse, but whatever. <laughs> Um, anyway, so what we have here is our uh, 2014 uh, Chevy SS. A lot of people don't know about these cars. A lot of people think it's just a Malibu or Impala or something like that. But this, these cars are rare. They came out from 2014 to 2017. Um, they're based out of Australia. So to get parts for these cars, it's never been possible. And uh, yeah, so anyways, this car was the camo wrapped. We took it off, um, it was fading. Um, we had several issues with the wrap, but then when we pulled the wrap, we also pulled some paint, which is unfortunate. But we're gonna go get, go ahead and get the, like probably the whole front end repainted on this car anyways. Get new headlights, because the sun has really like, took a beating on these but anyways enough of that so the reason we're making this video is because we are finally um, going to tear into the SS meaning we're gonna go ahead and cam it finally <laughs> and throw a set of heads on it the only thing that we've ever done to the car um, performance wise is I guess the intake the, what is it rotofab yeah it's a rotofab uh, we picked it up from this guy in Phoenix. He was going to do a supercharger on his. So he had to change the setup. So we got a deal from him. So we picked it up. Other than that, I think the only thing we did is a secondary caddy leak. And that's it. I mean, other than that, the car is like stock. Uh, the engine has never been messed with. So, you know, I think it's time to turn into it. It's been probably like two years. <laughs> they had this camp kit and heads for it. But the, the car is 2014. It's a 6.2 LS3 engine, uh, six speed, automatic transmission. And the car is very fun to drive. It's pretty fast for what it is. And today is the day that I'm going to probably start taking it apart. Now, it is pretty dirty because it was sitting outside. We've had several storms, rain. And I'm sweating because it's so humid out here right now. But it's dirty. I should have washed it before I brought it back in here. But um, I was going to do the work outside. So I decided just to go ahead and bring it here. Trying to give me some motivation and work on it. Since it's in my way as I walk into the garage. Mind you, I've been asking him for like months now. <laughs> it's been quite some time, probably a year or more. It's just with everything else going on and things here and there, you know, that's been, it's been put off to the side. Now that we have other two more reliable vehicles, we could put this down and not worry about, like, you know, not having a vehicle. The Sierra is already up and running. Yeah, I need the tune, but I could, like, regularly uh, street drive it. And, uh, so yeah, um, <clears throat> Like I said, it's 100% stock, and uh, that's about to change. And I'm going to show you guys what we have here on this little table. Um, with the parts that are going to go into the car. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the most expensive thing that we bought. And you might hear a little bit of wind in the video because there's a little breeze going through. So this kit that we have here is a triple. Top end kit, and this kit's not a cheap kit. We got a deal. The guy uh, that bought it, I guess he wasn't gonna use it or whatever. Um, I think he had it posted for three grand. I think three grand. You know, I told him, "Hey, I have cash money. I'm ready to buy." And he said, "Throw me an offer." And I think I threw him what twenty? No, he has said uh, the lowest is twenty-seven. And I said, look, I got 25, I'll go pick it up right now. So 
the guy said, are you serious? And if you're serious, go ahead and come pick it up. So we went and picked it up. The kit's brand new. Um, the heads are like brand new. It's all CNC uh, ported. And uh, it already comes with uh, dual valve springs. You can see the exhaust side. And then the valves, these are like massive. And these are, I believe, 69 cc uh, chamber. Um, these heads, I mean, the kit originally, if you look up the kit, I know it's on a stock, but the kit from Treadflow, um, it runs for 3500 bucks, And we got it for, what, $1,000 cheaper. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, very nice head, 200 head. I mean, probably in the video it doesn't justify how good these heads look, but these ports, they're like, real nice. Anyway, so, here's the head. And uh, the only other thing too, the heads came with, are these rocker stands. Now they're all dusty because these, Obviously, has been sitting for a while. <clears throat> so, it comes with these stands. And the reason being is because the valves on these heads, they stick out a little bit higher than stock. Because the angle of the, the valve has been moved to be able to run, like, a pretty big cam so these just literally I believe they go like that a certain way yeah like so so uh, you have to run these you can't run the stock ones and then your stock rockers you can run on here so they came with the kit as well like I said they're dusty because this kit has been sitting for a minute. It also came with a can. Um, obviously these are not like Texas Speed, you know, where they have all the specs right here and everything. But the cam is a 230, 238 over a 113 LSA. The lift is, I think, 625 or 615. So pretty high lift cam and uh, the only other couple things that I do have here are the head gaskets which are uh, LS9 BTR style came with the uh, exhaust gaskets as well push rods now these are way longer than your usual for us 7.75 which is pretty long so that makes up the difference from the valve being longer and with the stand you know going down to the lifter so this is part of the whole kit so anyways uh gasket if it leaks right here you lose uh, oil pressure so we're just going to replace it and we are going to go ahead and put a high volume milling oil pump this is the 10296 so basically this is high pressure high volume it's it's more than stock or like there's another one that's uh 
five HV, which is stock with an high volume, but this is high pressure at all the time. Come with another spring, a couple springs, o rings, and stuff like that. I need to see what the ratings of each spring is. I know there's a spring here that's a little bit longer, which is this one, but then I don't know what spring they put in here. So the longer the spring, meaning it pushes. Uh, the little valve on there further in for more tension so more oil pressure so that's going to be done to it um obviously a timing cover water pump it does come with an extra oil ring for the oil pump but we have some there as well that's a must like i said uh, came with gaskets the exhaust Another thing that we are going to be putting in there, obviously, um, I always recommend to everybody or people that have worked on their vehicles in the past, do new, new lifters. These are the yellow 7 style lifters. It's always recommended. I mean, you have the engine opened up, it's right there. If you have the heads off, just replace these. I mean, this is, you wouldn't want to not replace them and then a month later you have one of these ticking. And, you're gonna have to spend money to take it apart and redo it all over again. Lastly, um, headers. So we have these JBA headers. I only brought one out. I have the other one, of course. Um, these are the headers I'm gonna be installing. Now I do have to modify the exhaust down on the car since I'm not gonna be running no more cats or none of that. Um, it comes with that V-band. But I believe I have to cut the flange that's on the exhaust right now and have this piece welded to it. But uh, we'll deal with that once, you know, these are, <coughs> excuse me, these are on and, you know, the whole car put back together. So, yeah, uh, it's been a long time coming and <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Like I said, I'll just start turning into it. I mean, I'm not going to show a video of me taking it apart. Maybe I'll, you know, do another video of it halfway taken apart already. I know I do have to probably most likely remove the radiator out of the way because it sticks out pretty far. And the uh, reason being is because the cam has to come out. I gotta see if I, I'll be able to clear the condenser, the AC condenser. If not, I'm gonna have to pull that out as well, or at least off to the side. Yeah, um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on this car. I mean, I've you know, we've seen it around a couple other videos. The only other thing we did do was get some different wheels for it. Um, like I said, the car's so dirty. But uh, we got a set of uh, VMS wheels for it. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, so like we were saying, the only thing we did, or else, the other thing that we did see was get these wheels, and we had to buy a wider wheel for the front because <laughs> it's a drag pack kit that we bought, and it came with skinnies, like a, what is it, like a four inch wide wheel. It was really small. And uh, the wife was driving home from work, and I happened to be right behind her, she didn't notice I was behind her and uh, the tire on this end blew like it like instantly blew. It actually took out this uh, little panel thing right here. So these are brand new. I bought a new pair for both sides. But yeah, it blew it out with the tire like literally disintegrated. Uh, we figured that wasn't safe to be daily driving, so we went with the wider wheel. And it is an 18 by 9, so it does kind of stick out a little bit or more because of the tire size. Because I did buy a tire that was way too small and I didn't like how it looked. So, yeah. Uh, but, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video there. Like I said, I'm not going to probably make a video of me turning into it, like physically. I might show progress in another video and go from there, but. I'm gonna have you guys sit around and you know watch me wrench away or whatever. But anyways, um, thank you guys again uh, for 
subscribing, liking the videos, leave a comment, any questions or anything. Um, try to answer to the best of my ability. Um, Leland uh, is not here, he's working. Uh, he will probably be in a different video here um, with me, probably working on the car. And yeah, so, like I said, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.